Hello everyone. Today we will do exercise 14.6. Draw angle POQ of measure 75 degree and find its line of symmetry. Let's see how to do this. First draw a line segment. Now take the protractor and measure 75 degree. Start from 0, 75, put a point on 75, construct the angle, draw the angle. Now we can name our angle, our angle is angle POQ, so this is POQ. Now we have to construct the axis of symmetry, line of symmetry, line of symmetry is same as the bisector. So, with O as center, with the compass, take a convenient, convenient radius, with O as center, take a convenient radius and draw an arc such that the two points cut on OQ and OP. This is the first point and this is the second point. Name it as A and B for convenience. Now with A as center, take a radius more than half of arc AB. More than half, draw an arc. With B as center, without changing the radius, draw an arc. Let this point be C. Now join O and C. Therefore, OC is the, therefore, OC is the line of symmetry, line of symmetry of angle POQ. Line of symmetry means this will divide it into two equal parts, same as bisector. You can check this 37 point little bit will come so 75 divided by 2 is 37.5 like this next question number 2 draw an angle of measure 147 degree and construct its bisector now let's see how to do this this is same as question number 1 draw a line mark a point Take the protractor, start from 0, 147, 140 is here, 45 here, 46, 47, like this. Then join these two points. You can name your angle A, B, C. For Constructing its bisector with B as center, take a convenient radius and draw an arc such that it should cut the two points of the arms of the angle BC and AB. Let it cut at E and F. Now with E as center, take a radius more than half of arc EF. More than half you have to take the radius. Then with E as center, draw an arc. Now with F as center, without changing the radius, draw an arc. Now mark the intersecting point as G. Join this B and G. Therefore, BG. BG is the bisector of bisector of angle ABC. Like this. Bisector means this will divide the angle into two equal parts. This part and this part are same. 
both the angles are same next question draw a right angle and construct its bisector here i'm going to construct the right angle using the protractor only here it is not we are they are not asked us to do with compass and ruler only so first same like the above questions i'm going to do mark a point then 90 degree You can name your angle as P, Q, R. Now we have to construct its bisector same as the same as above with Q as center. Take a convenient radius and draw an arc. It should cut at the two arms of the angle. Let it be O and P already we took. Let it be A and B. Now with A as center, take a radius more than half of the arc and draw an arc. With B as center, without changing the radius, draw an arc. Let it be S. Now join this Q and S. Therefore, QS is the bisector of bisector of angle PQR. Ninety degree. I will show you in the next question how to construct using ruler and compass. Now they are not ask us to do. With ruler and compass, so I construct with protractor and the bisector. 90 degree, half is 45 degree. Let us check whether this angle is 45 or not. It's exactly going through 45. You can see QS, this arm is passing through 45 degree. Next question number 4. Draw an angle of measure 153 degree and divide it into 4 equal parts. So same like the above question, we have to draw the bisectors four times. Draw a line. Question number, this is question number four. Mark a point. Take your protractor. Measure. 153 degree start from 0 go like this 150 here 51 52 53 like this join it you can name your angle a b c now first we have to Draw a bisector for angle ABC. With B as center, take a convenient radius and draw an arc such that the arc cut at BC and BA. Now we get two points D and E. Let it be D and E. With D as center, take a radius more than half of E, D, E and draw an arc. With E as center, without changing the radius, draw an arc. It should intersect at each other, so you have to draw again. Let it be F. Join F and B. Now see, you divide it into two parts, two equal parts. Now again, mark this point as G. We are going to divide angle 
F B C into two equal parts. So with D as center, take a radius more than half of D G. Draw an arc without changing the radius. With G as center, draw an arc. Name it as H. Join B H. One, two, three. Now it is three parts. Now we have to divide it into four equal parts. So take this G and E now. G, point G and point E. We repeat the process. With G as center, take a radius more than half of G E and draw an arc. With E as center, without changing the radius, draw an arc. Give the name I. Now join B and I. Therefore, the four angles are equal. Angle ABI equals angle IBF equals angle FBH equals angle HBC. ABI, IBF, FBH, HBC. That's all for today. Thank you.